Can I just say that uh, Luke Russert uh, was re- tweeted out uh, a tweet about the about the Mississippi election of Thad Cochran versus McDaniel, and uh, here I'm going to read. I'm gonna read I bet it. it was something smart. I'm going to read it to you what he said. So he tweeted. Only in USA can a 76-year-old white man from Mississippi be the Republican who figured out how to turn out African Americans for the GOP. I'll read it to you one more time. Only in the USA can a 76-year-old white man from Mississippi be the Republican who figured out how to turn out African Americans for the GOP. And I tweeted back at him, Luke, in what other countries are politicians trying to figure out how to turn out African Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so it only in the USA can a white guy from a state called Mississippi with a place called Mississippi in it. Huh. Unless there's other countries with states called Mississippi and African Americans and a po- political party called Republicans could this happen. But it, it happened here. It happened only in the USA. So I actually Jeez. called him about that stupid tweet because it got retweeted like, like mental. So uh, join, joining us on the phone is uh, MSNBC, uh, MSNBC correspondent Luke Russert. Uh, Luke, are you there, buddy? Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> hey. We just had quite an election night, huh? Yeah. I yeah. gave you a verbal retweet of my great line that everyone on Twitter is quoting. Only in the USA can a 76-year-old white man from Mississippi be the Republican who figured out how to turn out African-Americans for the GOP. Uh, Luke, you know the reason why everybody retweeted that tweet is because, well, it's idiotic. You know that. You might beg to differ, Jim, bro. Everybody quoted it because as far as erudite political insight goes, it was totally amazeball. <laughs> Luke, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the reason they were tweet retweeting you is because the people on Twitter were making fun of you, Luke. Jimmy, Twitter may be a lot of things, but a place for negative commentary is not one of them. <laughs> and besides, how does anyone argue with the logic of what it said? America is the only place on this earth that has African Americans. Mm. I mean, even Africa doesn't have as many African Americans as America does. <laughs> and you would think that more Africans in Africa would be African Americans, considering how black most of them are. <laughs> Luke, I think there's a lot about Africa that you um, are missing that you don't understand. I really do. I understand it's a great country. <laughs> yeah, Luke, Africa, not a country. Holy crap, Jimmy, what a racist thing to say. <laughs> but how can we get back to my original point? Well, what was your original point there, Luke? What was your original point? There are just some things that can only happen in America. Like what? Like what? Take, for instance, Eli Wallach, who just died. Yeah, the great actor Eli Wallach, right? Mm-hmm. He sure was. Yeah. And only in America could an American actor have a career acting in American films and on the American stage. That's correct. Eli Wallach often appeared on Broadway, and you don't see actors appearing on the New York theater stage in other countries. <laughs> Only in America, Jim. You know, look, guess I can't argue with that, buddy. No, you can't. <laughs> and did you know that one of Eli Wallach's most iconic roles, The Good, The Bad, and Ugly, was filmed in Spain? Only in America could an Italian filmmaker shoot a movie in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, you know, when you think about it, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly uh, was, was actually a foreign film, right? When you think about it that way. That's right. And a foreign <laughs> film can only happen in America. <laughs> Luke, what you're saying is about to make my head explode, buddy. So let's just focus on what a great movie The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly was. And uh, tell me, who did you like better in that movie? Did you like Eli Wallach, or did you like Clint Eastwood in that movie better? Hmm. Well, both sides were deadly gunslingers. Both sides were desperados. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. And both sides had equivalent reasons for doing what they did. Okay, Luke, I think I see where you're going with this. That's right, Jimmy. (gasps) 
Both I do it. Okay. <laughs> Both I do it. Yes, Luke, okay. Both I do it. Yes, all right, Luke. Both I do it. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate Both it. I do it. Luke, it was good talking to you. Both Th- I do it. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was Luke Russell, ladies and gentlemen.